Brady has become one of the best athletes at using social media to increase the uh, positivity associated with Tom Brady in general. Now, remember, it used to be, and some of you are young and you won't even remember that, the Tom Brady versus Peyton Manning uh, battle was kind of an everyman. Peyton Manning was your average Joe Sixpack, average guy, owns the Papa John's franchises, likes beer, uh, not particularly good-looking, funny. He marketed himself as an everyman. And then you had Tom Brady, who was Mr. GQ, dating a Victoria's Secret supermodel and Giselle, uh, seemed to have everything, sort of a marble man exterior, never really gave you a, a picture of his interior life. And now Brady's really good on social media. He's got one of the best, best social media teams out there. Uh, and, uh, and what is uh, pretty funny today, earlier, Tom Brady, 20 years after, I'm sorry, uh, then Oakland Raider fans, now Vegas Raider fans, Brady's admitted that the tuck rule, it was a fumble. For all of you who remember that game, it's been 20 years ago now. It really was the beginning of the Tom Brady legend. In Foxborough, he gets hit, he fumbles. Patriots go on to win the Super Bowl that year. But if that call is made, as most of us watching it live believe that it would be, and if it were ruled a fumble, then maybe the Brady dynasty doesn't take off like it does. Maybe he has less than the six Super Bowls. Uh, Instead, that is the beginning of the Tom Brady GOAT resume. Uh, and I just think it's funny, I'm sorry Raider fans, that he's finally coming out and admitting that that was not actually uh, the tuck rule, should have been ruled a fumble. And by the way, that also began at least the argument that the officials were rooting in favor of the Patriots because they had so many things go their way uh, in so many close games over all those years. 